Hey, what's good, y'all? It's King Z, and I'm back here on Pit A2 with another DSOD solo heist, you know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, man, we got Reservoir Dogs. Not a fun heist, bro. Not a fun heist. Day one wasn't really a problem. I'm going to refer to day one. I know the heist is backwards. I'm going to refer to day one and day two in order, you know what I'm saying? So, day one... Uh, since it's flipped, it's technically day two. I fucking know that shit. Don't be bitching in the comments about that shit. I don't care. I'm just gonna refer to it uh, like normal day one and day two. So day one, gonna be you know in the warehouse. You get Mr. Pink. You get the fucking diamonds. You know what I'm saying? That one. I'm gonna refer to that as day one. Day two. I'm gonna refer. That's referring to the jewelry store shit. So um. Yeah, I know it's backwards. Don't be fucking bitching in the comments about that shit. I don't care. It, that just makes it easier. So, um, yeah. Day one, uh, wasn't too much of a problem, man. Um, I had decent spawns and shit like that. Not really too much of an issue. Uh, really, day one, the only thing you gotta worry about on DSOD is where uh your your jewelry bag is gonna spawn in the garages that takes uh you know there's a little bit of rng in that how long it takes to saw and stuff like that and open in the right garage so yeah you gotta kind of be careful doing that because you are outside and enemies do be coming from all directions on there so you kind of got to be careful but it's not too hard because you're kind of in the alleyway it's pretty close quarters and that's hard to deal with enemies and the other thing is getting mr pink into the warehouse because his car I think it can drive to a few locations I think uh, I've seen it like be across the street and that's kind of a bad location mine uh luckily um, crashed pretty close to the warehouse so that wasn't really a problem but yeah day one wasn't really an issue I am using my stoic build I'll have a link to that in the description and a link to a uh, the pd 2 builder website so you can copy it uh, skill for skill because I think uh, that video I've changed a few skills but um yeah a couple things I wish that I would have had with me is nine lives and swan song and maybe even inspired too cuz holy fuck day two took me a good hour and a half to fucking finally finish there was two times I got to the end had the bags uh, where I was securing the bags and then my shit just went fucking downhill that's another thing the, uh this on day two uh i'm done with day one now day one was pretty fucking easy like i said didn't really have a problem with it um yeah day two a few things out give you guys some tips and shit like that things that i got fucked over uh with and shit like that so um yeah sorry for the shitty commentary too man i'm tired as fuck uh just got home not that long ago and uh yeah y'all know how i be man i just go off top uh, so, yeah, everything I'm saying just coming straight off my fucking shit, you know? So, um, yeah, day two, first off, I guess, uh, the, to open the, um, the bag where the vault is, you're either gonna hack the computer or hack this, like, security box thing. If it's the security box, just fucking restart, bro. I, every time they gave me the security box and, like, my seven or eight tries it took me to fucking do this shit, didn't get it hacked at once, bro. There's just so many fucking enemies coming through that window. Your AI can't kill them fast enough because there's just medics, medic dozers, minigun dozers pulling up in there. The AI can't kill them fast enough. And it's DSOD, so you can't be out in the open uh, spraying all the motherfucking enemies down. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, got fucked every single time that I had to do the uh, security box thing. And it's just annoying. I don't know why they put it in that location. It's so fucking bad. It's right next to all the windows. So enemies are just spawning in. There's like a spawn right outside to the left of that too. So enemies are just repelling down the fucking roof and coming straight in that window. There's not much cover over there. because They just walk around the counters. If you stand up, they'll shoot you over the counter. It's 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 just fucking terrible, dude. Just if you get that uh, if you get that security box to start, just 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 fucking restart the game, dude. Because it's it's just fucking hell to do. But um. Yeah, if you get the computer, which is uh, ideal, then it's really no fucking problem. I just kind of posted my AI up 
around that side of the uh, the diamond store, and uh, yeah, they just went to work. Um, you want to try not to go down, obviously, but especially in the first part, you really want to save your downs until after you have like the ball open. It just makes things a lot easier. So then you don't have to run outside uh, before you have to get the, uh, the liquid nitrogen and use that doctor bag up because you might need that doctor bag later on especially if you don't have them with you because your build doesn't uh use them like mine used the first aid kit so the only doctor bag i had was the one out by the car so that wasn't very fun that's another reason why i wish i had fucking nine lives on this build but yeah i didn't uh i wish i was able to switch some skills around because i only have like four usable builds right now because i can go infamous so much so i just didn't have anything really made so um yeah try not to go down until well obviously if you can not go down at all that's great but if you do go down uh you know hopefully it's after you uh are getting liquid nitrogen and shit like that so yeah there's two uh car spawns for the loot one is just well they're both uh just right across the street from the uh the diamond store i think the easier one would be the one I don't know how to describe it like I'll just go for the doors the doors are kind of at the angle there's one there's a uh, the car can spawn on the left across the street or the right across the street kind of behind you um, in this gameplay they spawned to the right across the street which uh, I got fucked over last time I, I got I got I had both sides um, once like there was two times I got to where I had all the loot secured. They were, I had each game was on a different side. I got the fucking hiccups now, yo. I'm sorry, I'm fucking tweaking now. But yeah, I got I've got fucked on both sides. There's really no good side for that. But I'd say I prefer the 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 car to be on the um, left side if you're facing the doors. It was just um, just a little bit easier to secure the loot, I think. Uh, because on the right side where it is, you'll see at the end of this gameplay, um, where, where I finally get the loot secured, uh, yeah, there's two fucking SWAT turrets that are over there, and they just light you the fuck up, man, like, ICTV Stoic, one of the tankiest fucking builds you can, uh, have, and dude, it just fucking melts through your armor, man, and there's a, there's a cop spawn, right behind you too a little like right behind you but a little bit to the side so it's not like directly behind you but it's there so you'll have fucking cops and shit coming down there's just not a lot of cover over there besides behind the cop car but like i said when enemies are fucking repelling behind you it's like there, there, there's not much you can do you know i tried destroying the turrets but uh for some reason there's like this weird ass little bug I think it's a bug. I don't know, but it's it's fucking stupid. It happens to me quite a lot if you uh, watch my streams and videos and shit like that. Um, I try to shoot my rocket, and it'll just fucking blow up in my face. Um, I don't know what's up with that. Uh, you guys will steady on day two. Obviously, I'm not doing this shit live, uh, uh, and um, uh, all the gameplay is gonna be like it's gonna be full fucking gameplay. You know what I'm saying? So um, yeah, I'm not gonna be able to commentate over the whole thing because it's like fucking 45 minutes long or some shit. Cause uh. Yeah, just, I, can, I can't do that shit. Like I said, all this shit is coming off the top of my fucking head. I'm just trying to let y'all know some stuff before I do. Uh, just let the gameplay roll. So, um, yeah, them two SWAT turrets are a motherfucker, man. Um, the first time I got to this exact, that exact same location, um, my AI, your AI doesn't want to stay with you over there either. They'll run up on the SWAT turret. And, of course, they get fucking lit up because there's two SWAT turrets. So, yeah, they all just got fucked up. And then I ended up going down trying to revive them. So, uh, yeah, that's how the first time went. The other time I went down at the end, uh, the car was on the other side. Um, and that just went bad. There was some cloakers, and it just didn't work out. Tried to run, got lit up. There's no cover trying to run across that street. So, yeah, um, another tip, I guess. I would use... Um, in the vault area, you can go like up the stairs. Then there's a room with two um, safes you could drill in there. I would post up in there. It's actually uh, pretty useful. There's only one way for the guards to get in, and it's uh, to the door. So 
yeah, it was a great place to post up and wait for like assaults to die down and shit like that. So yeah, highly recommend if you're doing this heist and uh, it's not going too well, you know, post up in that room, wait for the assaults and try to get yourself back together for the uh, next wave. But yeah, there's not really uh, much else I can think of. Like I said, it was a hard fucking heist, at least on the uh, on day two in the diamond store. It just, it was not fun at all. I was getting mad as fuck every time I failed, man. It just, it was, it was, it was a bad experience, bro. It was a bad experience. I didn't think it would be too bad going in, but holy fucking shit. Like, there's a few heists I know, like, are gonna be kind of shit. But this one, like, I knew day two was hard, but man, fuck me. It's solo. As solo, bro, it's, it's, it's tough, man. It is tough. There's just so many enemies, uh, you know, the SWAT turrets, like I said, and, um, yeah, if you are using a rocket, like, of course, uh, most rocket launchers don't have any ammo pickups, you have to get your, uh, your ammo from the ammo bag outside by the fucking car, and, um, yeah, when rockets are blowing up in my face while I'm trying to blow up SWAT turrets, it's, it is wasting my fucking rockets, so overkill. Please fix that shit. I don't know what it is. Y'all will see it later on in the gameplay. Like I said, like I try to shoot these fucking SWAT turrets, try to get them to stop shooting at me so I can cross the street at the end. I'll talk about that in a minute. But yeah, I'm trying to shoot the turret so I can cross the fucking street at the end to escape. And these rockets are just just blowing up as soon as I as soon as I fire them. I don't understand how it's working. Like there's clearly space for the rocket to go. It just it, it makes no fucking sense. There's a few uh heist that happens on i don't know exactly what causes it i don't know if it's like hitting some invisible fucking barrier i can't see but holy shit is it annoying because no nobody wants to fucking blow themselves up with a rocket that's a bad way to go out you know what i'm saying and it just puts you in a terrible situation like outside by that car is a terrible situation to be in uh to begin with with all the uh gunfire you know two swat turrets there's an enemy spawn behind you that spawns like four enemies at a time um there's enemies spawning across the street from you all over the fucking place. It's just, it's, it's not good. And then when you add in, uh, you can't even shoot your fucking rocket because it'll blow you up. It just, it's a whole different type of fucked up thing. I don't know, man. It's just, it's annoying as fuck. Obviously, the game's buggy, but yeah, that's one of those things where it's like, come, come on, dude. Like, that's not even my fault, you know what I'm saying? Like, if I go down, that's my fault. I can, I can live with that, but, you know, if I go down to some type of fucking bullshit, bug invisible wall that is fucking eating my rockets up then you know that's like that's like come on dude i can't i can't, I can't prevent that bullshit you know what i'm saying so yeah that's really it um the escape got really fucking close as you will see later on uh, because this commentary has only been 13 minutes and the video is pretty fucking long don't know the exact length but i know it's pretty fucking long but yeah, the escape, not too bad. There's a few snipers you got to worry about trying to cross that street into that alleyway. There's some cover in the alleyway too, just in case you do get lit up. Um, when I got in the alleyway, also there was a cloaker kind of running up the stairs at me. So watch out for that motherfucker. If he would have kicked me, I don't know if I would have survived. Because I think I only had one AI alive at the end there. Because they got, I don't know why. Like I said earlier, they try to fight the SWAT turret. And it just it doesn't work from the SWAT turret's not gonna stop shooting. Maybe they could probably fight one, but two surrounded by enemies, it's it's not gonna fucking happen. So yeah, I don't remember exactly, but I think I only had one AI left at the end, which is uh unfortunate to say the least. But yeah, I cross the street, I'm healing up, I continue on down that alley, uh, with no first aid kits. So yeah, that's unfortunate. I had no first aid kits there at the end. Uh, doctor bag was all out because you know shit goes bad over there by that fucking car And yeah cloaker comes running up the stairs luckily. He didn't charge me and um, Yeah, my, my gun. I think I'm using the KSP and this shit Killed him pretty fucking quick. So he wasn't really an issue But there is a decent amount of enemies in that area after those stairs So yeah, be careful of that. I found a corner to hide in and luckily it was okay I think enemies can repel down the wall I'm not 100% sure, but I think they can, uh, pretty much right in front of where I was posted up, but luckily they did not. 
I uh, was able to put the C4 on the door, blow that bitch up, and then just run straight to the fucking escape. There is a dozer that pops out uh, on your way to the escape. He just pops out of this fucking door, but he's not really a prop. You can just kind of run past that motherfucker and you're good to go. So, yeah, tough fucking heist day two. Um, not fun at all. Would not recommend if you plan on doing this. Uh, you know, make sure you pick up a few extra skills, like I said. Um, nine lives at the very least. Swan Song would have been pretty fucking useful, and maybe even Inspire, because as I've been saying, the AI on this heist really are fucking brain dead. I don't know why they try to fight shit. They don't uh, follow you too well. They kind of run off from you. It's really fucking annoying. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. And also, for any of you stupid motherfuckers that comment, oh, why don't you do this solo? No AI, no fucking whatever fucking no first aid kits all that shit dude I, I watch somebody else if you want to fucking do that shit there's people who do that shit I'm not one of them I'm just playing the shit PSOD with the AI how how most motherfuckers would play this shit alright if you're gonna complain in the comments that I used AI I've, I've had to have before I did a solo it was stealth too so the AI really did nothing but give me a little bit of extra bonuses somebody talking about it, it's not solo cause I had AI like Dude, fuck off. It's so low. The AI didn't help me move backs, pick locks, do fucking nothing, answer pagers, kill guards, none of that shit. I ain't see them doing that. They stood outside the fucking bank and fucking smoked cigarettes and walked around and shit. Like, they're not doing nothing. So, um, yeah, if you're one of those people who's gonna complain in the comment that it's not so low because I had AI, dude, just fuck off. I don't care. And, um, yeah, if you wanna see that type of gameplay, I'm not the motherfucker to watch. So, um, yeah, I'm sorry. But, yeah, I think that's pretty much it for this shit, man. Reservoir Dogs, DSOD, not fun at all. Fuck this heist. Never gonna play it again. But, uh, yeah. If you like to enjoy it, subscribe if you are new. Enjoy the motherfucking gameplay. Make sure y'all motherfuckers go follow me on Twitch. I've been streaming a lot over there. Twitch.tv slash KingZ815. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. That's it for this shit. Um, make sure you got the motherfucking notifications on so you don't miss nothing. And, um, yeah, man. I'll see y'all motherfuckers later.